ditch your concealer and you're gonna have more natural looking under eyes all the time. Is that possible for the mature woman? We're gonna find that out in this video. Hello friends, I am really excited to bring you this tutorial or this tip and trick. This is so simple that you are not going to even believe it. I don't know how I did not figure this out before, but for me, I have extreme crinkling underneath my eyes. I have crow's feet and laugh lines so very deep, but I also have very extreme under eye darkness, dark circles, dryness underneath there. So my struggle was I would get found our foundation on and then I would put my color corrector underneath my eyes. I wouldn't put foundation up underneath my eyes, but you would have moisturizer, then a little bit of primer to create a barrier so you don't sweat through and then the color corrector and then the concealer and after the powder it, everything would just look so very thick and cakey and sometimes that's okay if you're looking for a little bit more of a very finished look but if you're somebody that just wants a very natural look and something that can go really quickly this might be a perfect tip and trick for you we're going to get into this right now i hope that you do enjoy it give it a thumbs up if you do and if you're new to my channel i want to say welcome thank you all for being here with me as usual all of my faithful subscribers love you guys so very much let's do this trick you're not gonna believe how easy this is to get a more natural looking under eye so filming for me is gonna be so challenging for a while I'm using the elf putty primer I this whole room and everything about it has got to change but right now I'm just trying to continue with the videos for you guys put your uh, primer up underneath your eyes a little bit you don't want too much up underneath there and I am gonna be getting a different chair too this is my son's chair you guys see me all the time use the pixie by Pet Petra under eye corrector I'm not gonna do that today but if you have dark circles and you want to make a very um, beautiful brightened look and you just can't achieve it think about trying Trying this one you know what I'm gonna do one on one side I'll do one on one side and then you guys can decide whether or not you know the that is needed or not on your own but I'm gonna just do it on one side so that you can see normally I put this just about everywhere but we're just gonna put it on this side now remember my fun little trick about the powder before you go in with any sort of foundation and that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder all over to kind of help set all of this down i'm not going to use a ton my foundation today i'm using the l'oreal infallible fresh wear this is a 24 hour it says it's a 24 hour foundation don't know if it really is or not but i it also has a sunscreen in it and my color is 450 i will tell you right now that i bought this color when i was self tanning i haven't had a chance to since i moved so i'm going to take two whole pumps on the back of my hand right there and i have to color correct it with the la girl blue mix and medium because as you can see right there can you see how orange that is i'm going to put a little bit of a pump in there of the blue it's very pigmented you don't need a lot and it's going to change the color this is going to be just a tiny bit too dark for me but actually that's going to help us be able to see how well this does i'm using a bk beauty brush this is the number 106 and i do love bk beauty brushes okay so we are just going to swirl this and we're going to put our foundation right up underneath our eyes instead of using concealer. This trick is kind of one that out of necessity I stumbled across. It was um, a day when I didn't have any concealer with me. I only had my foundation. I've done the one where you only have a concealer and you don't have a foundation and you go in with just concealer all over your face. I've done that video. Um, I do like that. And again, it's more like if it's in a pinch. This more is about, I didn't have my concealer that day, but once I did this trick, it was phenomenal. And basically all we're doing is using foundation instead of concealer. And I think the reason that I like that is foundation sits down pretty well. You don't have to use a lot of powder with it. Look how good that did. I'm just like ditching my concealers. I really truly am. So this foundation will cover most all my imperfections and hide everything and everything is going to look absolutely beautiful because of the foundation. But I also want you to know that 
the concealer is optional. What this is going to do is it's going to make my skin look perfected because I'm using that flawless foundation technique. But what we're doing instead of any sort of concealer, we're using a very thin, thin formula of foundation to get these um, dark circles concealed. What's awesome about that is you just have this canvas that doesn't have, you know, a bunch of light color through here and a bunch of, you know, a little bit of a dark color on your foundation. With concealer, they, you know, usually say, oh, go ahead and buy a lighter color. I think that self defeating in the purpose of the really, really bad dark circles. Because when you accentuate those circles with a lighter color, that's where the eye is drawn. With this, you're just looking at one color on your canvas. And I think that's just fabulous about it. So I want you to see how good that's doing right now. I'm not putting extra on there. There is just a little bit of product. And so when you look down, you can usually see whether or not you have more need for foundation. You can see that right through here is where I would normally put my concealer. I have a little bit of it left on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna pick it up on my finger just a little bit and I'm gonna just press it into that area and see how this one with a color corrector doesn't need it as much as this one. And that's all it is. It's just using foundation in a little bit more strategic way than you're using concealer. It just seems to be so much better on my mature skin to do this. I don't know why. I just know that it works for me and I absolutely love it. The other thing is the brush is going to lay down the foundation a little bit thicker than it would if you were using a sponge. You can use a sponge 100% if that's the, what you choose to use. Now I'm using the Essence Contouring Palette Duo and I'm just going to take my big fluffy kabuki fan brush and i'm going to go through the two of those and get my contour slash bronzing color together what i love about doing contour and bronzing together is that you don't have all those extra steps and in the summertime why is it that we seem to be so much more busy and we don't really have time for a full face of makeup and we just want to really get out the door as always i do my highlight before my blusher and this one is from flower beauty it is their highlighting trio i just go down all three and then i put that on the top of my cheeks and beam that out. I think that is such a beautiful look. I love that look. And this time I am using an e.l.f. multi-stick and I think this one is peony. And I really like this one. It's kind of a peachy pink color. It's just really pretty. And I'm just going to use my stipple blush brush that I got from it a while ago. And this makes a beautiful look on the cheeks as well. I'm going to line my lips and put some lipstick on. I'll be right back. The palette that I used on my eyes, I don't have in front of me. My, Like I said, my house is a, such dis, in such disarray. This is the Milani Soft and Sultry. I'm just going to go down in this color right here, which is a brown, and I'm using a pencil brush, and I'm just going to do a tiny bit of lining of that corner right there, just in the outer part right there to give it a little bit of definition. I'm also going to put just a little bit of mascara out here on the outside corner of my eyes trying to keep those eyes as wide and bright as possible and this also helps your concealer look to be a little bit brighter pay attention to those outer lashes that's going to help it look brighter too because you're going to define the lashes because it's summer i took my hair down by the way because it's summer we also need to set that just a little bit under the eyes i'm using a big fluffy brush from it cosmetics and that same powder that we just used used i do love the becca and i use the becca all the time again it's just not in front of me that's what i would choose to use i'm just going to set down these points on my face or these parts on my face that seem to get a little bit of breakthrough and a little bit of creasing underneath those eyes happens as well i'm using my brush a lot to buff but i really didn't use extra product on there if you guys saw this in a look just on a picture or if you were just watching a video, would you ever know that there wasn't concealer here? I feel like the answer would be no, you wouldn't know because it's just such an easy tip. It works up so fast. I feel like it just does such a fantastic job. Again, when you look down, I got a little viewfinder right here. Again, when you look down, you can see that there's a little bit there, but it looks so natural because it works into the foundation so beautifully. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing me do this very quick concealer routine with 
with no concealer. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I love y'all very much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye friends.